So we're doing real-time ray tracing with face tracking on a QS22 cell blade. Here you can see it's, it's tracking my face and adjusting the position of the virtual camera with the information derived from trying to track my face. The face tracking is all being done on OpenCV. It's being done on a single PlayStation 3. The rendering is being done on nine QS22s. It's using the interactive ray tracer, the IRT. Each piece of this screen is divided up into horizontal regions and dispatched to each one of the blades. The blade renders that region. It uses one of its SPEs to do a JPEG type image compression. It sends that image back over gigabit ethernet to another PS3, which then displays this, the, the results on the screen. The face tracking is the only input that we're using into the renderer. You can see it gives you a pseudo 3D effect. <laughs> By moving your perspective based on your face, your brain integrates across and figures out or figures the 3D components of the scene and it gives you a 3D feel. You can see some things tend to pop out of the screen and it get, makes it look like you're looking into a box. We're trying to model as if you were to walk up into a window and be able to see outside the window into a scene. This particular scene is six and a half million triangles. It was provided to us by Threshold Studios. It's for an upcoming movie called Food Fight. If you were to render this scene on a typical Maya system, a dust side system, it would take anywhere from one to two minutes in order to render a single frame. Here we're able to do it in real time. All the lighting is dynamic. As you can see, all the shadows are being moved. There's no lighting that is baked into textures. Everything's being computed on the fly. I don't like the